Hello, I'm Emma and I'm Pat's artist and today we're going to be making a hanging black cat decoration and I'm going to show you how to make it completely from scratch using the brown paper bag kit that you've received from Pact. So it will end up looking like this. Okay, clear a space um, so you can get all your contents of your brown bag out um, so you can get to see all your kit you need. Right, this is the cat that we're going to make just as a reminder. Okay, so first things we're going to get our brown paper bag and we're going to empty the contents and check we've got everything in our bag. So we've got a black paper plate that's been had the middle cut out so that will become the body and this will become the head. We should have some glue dots of various different kinds, three pipe cleaners which will become our whiskers. Uh, we've got, you can see it clearly there, it's a little uh, mouth that's cut out of paper, some claws, Two feet, those there so you can see them clearly, two ears, two inner ears, a ribbon, two eyes and a little foam pink nose and sorry last but not least a tail. Okay? So the first things we're going to do is assemble the face. So I'm going to just move the tail, um, the outer body, the claws and the feet out the way. So we're just left with the items that will go on the face. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab the eyes, turn them upside down like so and I'm going to get my glue dots and put one on each eye. You don't need more than one so I can turn over my eye and assemble it like so. You can position the eyes however you like, um, whatever you think looks good on your cat. I think the next thing I'm going to do is to put the little mouth on before I put the nose and the whiskers. So, more fingers and thumbs today. There we go. So, I'm going to position it there on mine. But you can put it to the side, however you like. Okay? So, before we put the nose on, we need to put the whiskers on. Um, because I'm on a white background, I'll hold them up against the black cat's face. Okay, so you need to get, you've got three whiskers and you need to find the middle point of your whiskers like so and twist. Don't just twist once, twist about two or three times like that and then you can spread them out. So they should look like that. Okay? So I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of the middle of the whiskers. So just bear with me while I get my glue dot on. You may have different kinds of glue dots in your pack. Um, I've got a mixture of the clear ones and the little white ones. Okay, so I'm placing this like that. Okay, so it's already looking like a cat face. And I'm going to use another one of those sticky, the large sticky ones on the back of the nose, foam nose. And it does have a top and a, a bottom of the nose, but it doesn't really matter. It's very similar. So I'm going to pop it like that in the middle. The next thing I'm going to do is the ears. So I'm going to put just one on the back of the middle of the ear, one sticky dot, like that, and one on the other. And then I can position those in the middle of the cat's ear. 
so that's the inner ear so we've done it like um, fluorescent colours today um, I know cats don't normally have bright yellow ears but I think it looks quite funky so okay when you've stuck them on in the middle like so turn them over and then just on the bottom I might use two of these little dots because they're quite small on each ear. Like that. Peel the backs off like we did before with, if you did the pumpkin sun catcher. Like so. And then we can position it on the cat's head. Okay? So it definitely looks like a cat now. Mine's a boy cat and he's got his ears, so he definitely looks like a cat now. Okay, so what do you think we're going to do next? We're going to grab the body, which is there, and the cat's head, it doesn't matter at this moment in time, like there's a rough bit of the um, circle there, so I'm going to put my cat there just to hide that part. And I'm going to put my glue dot, I'm going to put a couple on, the actual plate okay so like that and peel it off I might get in a bit of a pickle there we go um, and again I'll put another one there that's it like that as you can see it's not perfect but as long as it sticks my cat head to it like that press it down there we go so that's perfect okay now I think I'm going to do my feet next so it doesn't matter there's not a wrong or right side of your feet so I'm just going to put one glue dot on each you can put a couple on it's up to you if you had some if you did the pumpkin sun catcher and you had some glue left in your little pot you could always stick that on as well if you wanted okay I've drawn these with pencil and cut them out if there's pencil marks turn them to the back so you don't see them for the front most of them won't have pencil marks on but occasionally they will just turn them to the back okay so if you flip it over you've got two feet with claws okay so turn them back over and I'm going to put one glue dot where I want to position my feet on the ring. So I'm going to have one over there and one here. Take the top of the glue dot, so make the sticky show. And turn my feet over so they're the right way round and place them on top of the glue dot. So there we go. Now, my cat is missing his tail, quite a large fluffy tail, um, so I think I'm going to have it to the side like that. So I'm going to flip my plate over to pop the glue dot on this side of the plate. So because the tail's quite heavy, I'm not going to just have one glue dot, I'm going to have three only because my tail's um, quite long um, and that makes the card heavy and I don't want it to fall off while it's um, hanging up. So move the back away in the bin. And I don't want it to stick out like that because I'll see it in the middle of my circle. So I'm lining it up like that. Give it a little wiggle and it's secure on my plate. And flip it over and there I have my cat's tail. If the tail that you've got in your pack, you think, oh, that's too big, I want it a bit smaller. Um, you, you could always tear little bits off to make it extra fluffy, it's up to you. Okay, we've finished with the glue dots now. So I will grab the ribbon. Um, you should have had um, autumnal colors in your pack. I'm going to put it underneath like that so I'm threading it underneath my plate 
and you can either tie a knot by putting the two ends together and tying a knot like so, threading it through like that or tying a knot simply by doing a double knot, tying it once and tying it again like, sorry, like so pulling the middle up to join it like that or you could even tie a bow if you wanted it's up to you so that's I'll do that that knot on mine okay and that gives it a hanger so I don't mind the little knot being at the top but if you wanted to hide it round the back you could always put flip it over you could always put a glue dot on the back and then get the, where the knot is and glue that there so it's stuck behind so you can't see it so you're finished so there you go that is our finished black hanging cat.